it is chilly this morning and I'm wearing the complete wrong shoes. I'm wearing my Adidas shoes. They breathe super good, which is an issue right now. Man, I'm so excited. I think I'm finally going to be able to uh, film with this GoPro now that I've got the uh, Purple Panda microphone. You guys probably will see or would have seen all the videos that I've put up about me testing it and uh, trying to make my old mics work and I bought some other mics and everything. I probably, I, I probably either already made it or I will be making a video about it. I'm just, I'm really happy that I can now vlog to some extent. Or let me rephrase, I can moto vlog to a certain extent. Other than the fact that I've been having issues with the microphone, the Hero 8 has been a great camera. It's, it's so crystal clear with video, it's not even comparable. Uh, Cause I'm, uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be saying this a lot. I've either made or I have already made a comparison video between the Hero 8 and the Hero 4. And there, you, you can't compare the two. I mean, so much different technology. Over, over four years of technology, uh, changes uh, it's it's just crazy how differently they handle um, sound processing uh, video light composition like there's just so much more light or not light but color there's so much more color with the hero 8 it's insane man it's such an awesome day it feels so good outside it was a lot chillier yesterday. I mean, it's still kind of chilly to be on the bike, but if I was wearing the correct gear, really all I would need on top of what I currently have is some different gloves and some different shoes or boots. I'd be golden, but these are the only gloves I got. So in years past, I would put uh, latex or nitrile gloves in uh, on my hands and then put my uh, motorcycle gloves on top of that. Uh, and that works okay, that works pretty good. Um, but still, I probably should invest in, uh, in a decent set of winter riding gear uh, if I'm gonna be riding in the winter a lot. And honestly, I just need to invest in some new gear altogether, which reminds me, uh, Icon just came out with the Variant Pro. Maybe not just came out, but maybe it's been a little bit, but they came out with a, with a different variant. So I'm pretty sure at this moment in time, you can still get the regular variant but they're gonna be gone soon, which is kind of sad. I mean, that's really sad because although I do like the new Variant Pro design, uh, I'm not, uh, I still like the old design, you know? Everything must come to an end at some point, so I don't know if I'll give the new Variant a shot or not. I'm thinking I probably will just to kind of review it or whatever, but um, I think I'm gonna be looking for a different helmet for just straight up vlogging. Uh, or maybe I'll just use that helmet for straight up vlogging and get me a different helmet for other things. So, but it's definitely time for some new, new gloves and probably a new jacket at the very least because I've had, I've had the variant and this jacket for a very long time. I've had both of them for over four years now, going on five years. So, I definitely need to get some new stuff, which, I mean, they've, they've held up completely fine. The Contra jacket from Icon is super versatile. Uh, I haven't actually talked about this in a video just because I don't like to talk about it, but uh, I've been trying to lose some weight here lately, and uh, it's been, it's been kind of tough. Uh, I've made some decent progress, um, but uh, like all you guys know, we, me and my wife, you know, we, we've been uh, moved down here to Huntsville for quite some time now, and I've been looking to uh, get a gym membership, and we're going to get one. It's just been really hard for us to break away from what we've been working on and things that we have to get done at the house to go and talk to a, a, a gym owner and, and get a membership and access cards or ID numbers or whatever they use down here. So I've been, been looking into doing that, uh, but I've, basically I've just been exercising at home on my own, like running with the dog, taking Axel for walks and runs and things like that. And, uh, just doing body weight exercises like like insanity stuff you know we've got like i think it's insanity or it might be p90x i'm pretty sure it's insanity but you know we used to do that kind of stuff so you know i'll i'll do things like that um 
And so, but I really miss lifting weights. I, I don't have any weights at the house unless you count the, the engine blocks I've got laying around. <laughs> I can I can lift those, but uh, I've really been just looking to tone up and drop, drop some weight. I would be really happy um, if I could get down to about 250 pounds uh, and then you know once I get there maintain that weight and then maybe you know shoot for like 225 I'm not looking to just get as slim as a beam pole or anything like that I still want to maintain my girth but I just <laughs> I just uh, I don't want to I don't want to become small you know what I'm saying like I'm, I'm perfectly content with the way my body is right now but uh, you know I would love to fit into some some of my uh, clothes and things a little bit better because uh, I have gained some weight uh, since we moved down here and I don't know if it's just because of all the amazing food or what but the same thing happened whenever me and my wife got married I was I dropped down to about 280 and I was super happy I felt I, I felt I mean it sounds weird but I felt better then than I have my whole life like when I was in high school I was 180 you know playing football and tennis and everything but uh, I, I felt better at 280 than I'd ever had in my entire life I felt so good because you know I was I was running my eight minute miles and everything and yeah, that's not like astonishing or anything but it's, it's it's pretty good for a guy that was my size and so I just I was happy there you know six three 280 pounds you know that I was very good at deadlifting like you know that, that's uh, I'm getting off topic here I mean I guess I'm not really getting off topic but I don't really know what I'm trying to say what I'm trying to say is is that if I lost some weight got a little bit thinner around the waist area then I'd be able to fit into my gear a little bit better so I mean that's just that's all I'm trying to say uh, if I were to buy another Contra I'd probably go up a size and it's not because this one doesn't fit it's 2x and I can you know it fits me fine I can put it on but I, uh, during the winter um, I used to put a hoodie on and then put the jacket on and that worked really really well as far as keeping me warm if I was gonna ride in in the cold like back with me and Nick would ride in the dead of winter that, that's what I would like to be able to do you know I don't I don't like want the jacket to be so big that it like parachutes me or whatever like if I were to get like something huge I don't want it to like catch wind super hard or anything but I would like to be able to put extra layers on under it if I felt like it you know what I'm saying so probably just a whole new setup honestly and just keep the keep my, my gear that I have on right now as spares or whatever no reason to get rid of it especially the jacket I mean the helmet probably will get to the point where it's so old that it's not safe to wear and ride but I mean at the same time I'm not real sure about the the legalities of all that stuff either but anyway so I'm going to be at work here pretty soon so I'll pick this vlog back up when I get well, after work today later so anyway back to what we were talking about I went and looked at the uh, variant pro online and everything and I, I like the way it looks and everything and it claims to be much more lightweight compared to the original variant which is what I'm wearing now and the variant I'm, I'm so used to it that it doesn't feel the cumbersome or heavy at all and that's with a Cine 30k and a GoPro Hero 8 attached to it so I mean there's there's a good bit of weight attached to this thing already um, and it, it doesn't feel over cumbersome I can I can control my head just fine so looking at the Icon variant Pro um, it, it's pretty it's pretty nice uh, so I looked at some videos of it uh, and I think I may get one at some point may, I, maybe I don't know because like I said earlier the the air flight just wouldn't be very well suited for moto vlogging and just for myself's future reference I'm testing the uh, the purple panda mic right now without the dead cat on just the regular muff to see how I like it to see if it sounds any better um, I, I don't know if it'll help crisp my voice up at all but we'll see maybe it will maybe it won't I think maybe the uh, dead cat may have uh, muffled my voice a little bit too much who knows so, I mean that's what I'm testing now so anyway um, but yeah so I looked at the variant pro 
and we'll see i think that the variant pro is going to be much easier to set up for uh moto vlogging than the air flight will be the air flight is kind of a special little butterfly um it it's got a uh the the, the actual like uh face mask on it is is very unique compared to other helmets that icon has made um so i couldn't put the camera on the front at least not very easily i don't think if i did put it on the front it would have to be attached to the face mask itself and if i ever lifted it then it would change the orientation or the the viewpoint of the gopro and so i don't <laughs> i really don't want to do that and so well i mean we'll just we'll just have to see so uh, I like the air flight, but for my purposes, I don't think I'm going to get it. Um, if I ever do get one, it's just going to be simply for me just riding without motovlogging. But honestly, there's not many times that I go riding and I don't have the camera attached to my helmet. Not just for vlogging purposes, because I don't vlog nearly as much as I used to. Um, I mean, that'll probably change now that I've got this setup all worked out, hopefully. Uh, I say hopefully, like the setup is worked out. But uh, I'm definitely going to try to motovlog a lot more um, because uh, when the weather's nice out, my main mode of transportation is going to be my bike. Uh, and, I, you know, there's no reason for me not to motovlog whenever I'm riding the bike. So here we are. So anyway, I, I'll definitely look at getting a, a Variant Pro. We will see. Uh, but anyway, I also looked at uh, a new jacket for me and my wife. Uh, I looked at the jacket that will match her helmet, so I don't know if you guys have seen her helmet yet, but she has a, uh, I think it's an Air Mata. Uh, I'll put a picture of it up on the screen here for you guys to see. And uh, it's a pretty wicked looking helmet. They have a jacket to match it, and I'll throw a picture of that up on the screen. And I'd like to get that for her, so that way, uh, you know, she's got the full setup and get her some gloves too. And that's something else too. I really need some new gloves. I mean, the, the leather, is starting to literally crack on my gloves so i mean just just a lot of <laughs> just a lot of wear and tear on them you know you know i just i ride i ride a lot so and i use my my gear you know i i use it until it breaks you know i don't i don't go out and carelessly uh buy new stuff all the time if i don't have to you know i hope the uh microphone situation ends up working out for me i think it will um, I think the dead cat will probably sound better than what I have on there right now, but who knows? I mean, I just, I really don't know. I'm just trying. We'll see how it sounds. So we should be getting some pretty good progress on the Rebel this weekend. Hopefully my plan is to have it ab absolutely 100% finished and rideable uh, by Saturday night, maybe Sunday. So I'm going to work really, really hard on it this weekend and try to get it finished up. It's, it's starting to look really, really good. I know I haven't really shown you guys a whole lot with it, but it does look really good. So uh, I, I know it's gonna turn out great. So everything's been working out the way I need it to. And so really the last thing we're doing is just uh, fixing the paint up on it. So, uh, and I've already basically got it to that point. Like it's ready to be painted. I threw some primer on it yesterday and it's looking really good. I just got a little bit more painting. I, well, painting. I've got a little bit more prep work to do as far as sanding it because the primer laid down really, really well, but I've still got to sand it back and get it perfectly smooth like I did with the CBR because I mean, I want the paint to look as, uh, as good as it possibly can you know so uh yeah i think it's going to turn out great so uh, i'm sure that whoever ends up buying it will love it uh, just as much as i have in the short time that i've owned it even though i haven't been able to ride it very much i've, I've enjoyed it man it feels so perfect outside today too like i just want to ride all day today i feel like i need to check the air pressure in the tires the front feels okay it might be a little bit low but I don't think I ever aired the back tire up from when I went to the drag and I kind of I think I dropped the air pressure just a little bit when we went. I need to check that for sure. What a day. I, mean, I can't wait for the weekend. It's going to be so nice. I'm going to get so much done. I am going to get so much work done this weekend and I'm not even kidding. I might film some of the stuff I'm doing just give you guys some updates like a like a five or ten minute weekend vlog just showing like quick like videos of what i've been working on and everything 
Plus, my wife reminded me today that I've got a uh, really big surprise to show you guys. And I know what you might be thinking. No, it's not another freaking bike. Um, but it's going to be cool. It's, it's going to be something um, for all of us to appreciate. So it's, uh, I'm going to, I, I might upload that video next week or something. Or I, I still have to make the freaking video. But um, I've got some of it filmed already. But it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Uh, and uh, all my videos are kind of scrambled right now so I don't know if I've uploaded these two videos yet but I've got two car vlogs that I made and uh, I don't know which one's going to go up first or, or what but I, I mentioned I talked in one of them for a, for a quick minute about making some like larger video projects and I really can't I, I can't get into it or anything um, but I've got some pretty cool ideas for like larger video projects like little movies you know not like two hour long videos but like 30 minute like little episodes of something you know I, i've got some uh plans and some ideas so i really uh i really am excited to try and do that especially with the camera equipment and audio recording equipment that i now possess so uh, let me got, let me know what you guys think about me doing something like that you know i i, I want to know um it's gonna be it's gonna be really fun for me i think and uh, it's, it'll be something that I'll, I'll be able to show my friends and family or, and get people involved in. So uh, just let me know what you guys think about that. But anywho, uh, I don't know if I'm going to end the vlog here, but just in case I do, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Remember to share it with your friends, your family, and your dogs. And thank you guys again for watching. I want you guys to take care, have a great night, and I'll see you in the next video.